Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another video at my YouTube channel and blog. This is a little bit of a different video. Like I mentioned a few weeks back, I'm doing a lot of traveling over the next little bit. And I thought I would give you a small glimpse of the California coastal cruise that I took recently on the Ruby Princess from Princess Cruise Lines. It was such a fun vacation just getting away. But I also did a little bit of crafting. I went to a uh, it was a crepe paper flower class, which was kind of fun. And then I also did some coloring on board with colored pencils and using some of the new waffle flower release. So I thought I would go ahead and show you one of the projects that I created while on board, but I thought I'd show you what I brought first. So I have this large bag right here, but I'm going to start with my notebook. And I actually filmed this little walkthrough <laughs> by one of the pools on the pool deck on the cruise ship. So that's why the setup's a little funny here, but I brought my usual watercolor notebook from Canson. And then I also have this zippered pouch here, which should look familiar from my last travel vlog video. I'll link it up in the top corner. Um, I have some paper towels that are folded up inside for the little bit of watercoloring that I could do. And I also have some sheets of hot press watercolor paper and I brought more of those watercolor coloring sheets from Simus' stamp. These have the watercolor dots on the top, so I don't need additional watercolors to work on those. I also have a clipboard that Kathy Rakusin gave all of us at the Lawn Fawn event. That came in handy later uh, when I was also uh, doing speed Sudoku in one of the bars on the ship. Um, so I have a bunch of these items, or these papers that I've stamped with the new Waffle Flower release. I stamped an envelope, some white cards, some also um, craft colored cards, and then onto this gray paper that I actually tore out of a notebook that I bought at Simus' stamp. I believe it's some Strathmore uh, sketching paper, but it looks really cool with colored pencils on top. So the main area of all of my supplies I've is this bag here. I brought my portable painter palette, which I've shown in a video in the past. I'll link that video up in the top corner as well if you wanna check that out. But inside are some Windsor and Newton paints. And unfortunately, I closed this up when the paints were still wet, because I was eager to show what I'd packed. So those little pans came out, but usually when they're dry, they'll stay in there. So that's the portable painter palette. I have a pencil sharpener. This is just a small one from Prismacolor. And I also brought this collapsible bag. This is a fabric cuffed bag, and you can get them at the container store. I'll have all of these items linked down below if you're curious. And I brought that so that I could put my pencils and pens and different things, uh, have them standing up while I'm working. It was just a little bit easier to see all of those pencils if they were standing up in something. I also brought this little travel brush from Jane uh, Davenport, I think that's her name. And it's, it's kind of, you pull on and it pops out. And I also have this travel brush from Escada. I um, actually got this um, after Debbie Hughes recommended them. So I just have a size six round brush and those are all of my supplies. So I did take some time on one of the last days of my cruise to color in this card here. So I stamped this image from Waffle Flower onto a folded note card. This note card is made out of Nina Desert Storm cardstock. This is the 100 pound version. And I just stamped this image in VersaFine Onyx Black ink. So I stamped all of those images that I showed you before. I stamped them all with the same ink. Um, and also that one card that you saw that had the cruise ship on it, I did the same ink for that one, but I just stamped it onto some white cardstock and made some little thank you note cards that I included with tips for the room stewards and the dining staff, things like that on the cruise ship. So um, I will link down below the two stamps that I used to make that thank you card as well. I'll link those down below in case you're curious. Um, the cruise ship image is from Art Impressions and it's a really great stamp set, especially if you love cruising or going on vacation like that. It's a great stamp set to have on hand. So I'm using some Faber-Castell 
these are the polychromos colored pencils. And I just packed my whole set. I think I have like the, I think it's the 68 set or 72 set, one of the larger sets. And I really love these colored pencils. They go on really smoothly and they tend to not become waxy. Some colored pencils can kind of get a waxy film on them after a while and you just can't even add any more color on top. But maybe it's my style of coloring, I'm not sure, but I've never really come, come to that point when I can't add more color on top. And I find that they blend really well. I also really, really love the white in this set. It's a great white color. It goes on really opaque and it looks fantastic on top of darker backgrounds. So even though this cardstock, which is the Nina Desert Storm, it's not super dark. It's just enough so that you can see the difference between the white colored pencil and the surface of the paper. It really makes everything look like it's bright and glowing. And I like to include some of that white as a highlight a lot of the times too. So that's the card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this little glimpse into my vacation. I have even more travel coming up, so I hope to do more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in another video very soon.